Hi everyone, I hope you're doing well. I hope uh, the weather last week didn't stop us uh, getting out and about as much as we uh, can. So you might find that this week's videos are slightly different um, and there'll be a lot less um, teaching. That's because obviously some of you now um, are back in school. Um, but for those that are not, uh, just keep going with the learning and there are some uh, links for you to click on that uh, will help you with the activities for today. Okay, so we jump into our reading then. And we're just going to complete uh, this week uh, our Matilda text. And we're just looking at chapters uh, 11 and 12 uh, just to get us to, to the end of the book at the end of the week. So again, continuing with our mixed uh, Viper questions. Um, so if you pause the video now and have a go at those. Okay, so let's see uh, how you got on. So those are uh, some of the answers. If you pause the video, you can compare those with yours. Okay, so let's get into our math then for today. And we're going to be looking at converting uh, units of measure. And today we're looking at converting units uh, of time. Now, if you go into your learning packs and click the link, you'll be able to do that a lot easier. Um, or you can type that link uh, into your uh, browser now uh, that will really help you get going with today's lesson okay so hopefully you found uh, that little lesson uh, video um, really useful so st to start our questions off um, just copy and complete these two sentences Okay, so moving on, uh, this is like our do it section. Uh, first three, you need to convert uh, from minutes to hours. And then the uh, for question four and five, you just need to convert hours into minutes. So if you pause the video and have a go at those. And then finally, a little bit more uh, problem solving on these. If you pause the video, uh, and have a go at these three questions. Okay, so let's see how we got on with those. So the answers coming up next. And there are your answers. Okay, don't forget to keep going with those timetable rock stars. And now on to our writing. And today's focus, or this week's focus really, is uh, poems. And today we're going to be looking at uh, acrostic poems. So again, if you go into your learning packs and you click that link, uh, there is a little reminder of acrostic poems, uh, which will be really useful for today. So hopefully you found that uh, reminder quite useful and you understand what an acrostic poem is now. Um, you could have a go at very simple you could maybe choose a color uh, or your name and just have a quick go at an acrostic poem um, before you get onto your main activity okay so if you your task for today is to think about a character from matilda that we've been studying in our guided reading and what you're going to do is add some description uh, to those characters and that's going to be ready for tomorrow when you're going to create your acrostic poem uh, about that particular character so try to be as detailed as possible and then you'll have enough then to uh, convert that into a poem tomorrow okay and your final activity then for today is just to start us now revising some of our um, spelling punctuation and grammar so if you pause the video and have a go at those six questions we'll have a look at the answers in a second OK, and there are some of the answers. Now, remember, some of the answers um, could be different to yours, but just check to see if they are um, along those along the same lines. And that concludes our learning for today. Well done for those that have got to the end of that. 